Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Seller Board Show. My name is Vladi Gordon, and my today's guest is Yael Kabili. Uh, she's an owner of a law firm called Ecabili and uh, an FBA broker or rather an e-commerce broker, fortunate. And uh, today we're going to talk about selling uh, your Amazon business. So um, if you're interested in uh, you know, knowing how much your business is worth and um, how uh, a sales process looks like, then uh, this episode is for you. Before we start, uh, make sure you check out our software sellerboard.com is a profit analytics tool for Amazon sellers with a ton of other stuff included, like uh, the autoresponder for follow-up mail campaigns, the PPC optimization module, uh, a module which helps you get money back for lost and damaged inventory, which was lost or damaged in the FBA warehouse by Amazon, and um, a ton of other stuff, and it's all uh, start starting at $19 a month. And there's a one month free trial. Follow the link in the description. Subscribe to our channel. Uh, press the like button if you like this video and let us know what you think. We'd like to know your opinion about the, the topics we discuss about the show. And um, if you have any questions to us or to the guests, then feel free to comment this video. Now let's start the show. So let's talk about your um, second company um, for a couple of minutes though. Um, you said it's about selling the businesses or tell us more about this. Right. So the second company uh, named Fortunate, uh, we're uh, three partners. Uh, one of them, Michal, she's, uh, she's, she comes more from the M&A world. Uh, she's been working in a large international firm de dealing with, uh, with, with M&As. Um, and, uh, and the third partner is actually an ex Amazon sellers who sold this, this seven figures, uh, business. Uh, he's also an accountant, so he is responsible for all the financial, but what we do, um, basically is, um, if you're a mid or large sellers, what we do is we help you, um, first of all, gathering all the information getting ready for the sale, uh, deciding if yes or no, that's the right time to sell. Sometimes, you know, we, we actually tell you, you should wait. Um, mm -hmm. And then we help you uh, gathering the financial information and creating a full p &L. So when you have, uh, when you have softwares, uh, for example, like Sellerboard, it's, it's really easier and, you know, it goes faster. If you don't have one, then, um, we'll try and um, dive deep into your business and uh, and what we'll do is we'll we'll prepare a, a full report so that the buyer receives everything and you know there are no surprises later during the due diligence um, we also prepare a you know a full presentation about your business and 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 show the advantages and where it's you know better than other uh, we show information about the ROI about the market uh, and everything. And then we present it to relevant buyers uh, that we know can buy. We don't just, you know, present it on the internet and wait for uh, random people to come. We, we actually approach uh, relevant buyers that buy businesses every day and that would buy your specific buyer in your specific niche. Um, so the process, you know, it doesn't take so long. It can take about three months or four months, depending on the size of the business. Uh, with uh, with eight figure businesses, it can take a little more, but uh, but you know that's the time frame. Um, and you know at the end, uh, so at the end, you you just you sell your business to someone, and then you have to give three or three months usually to assist the buyer uh, with the process. So we try and help through all the stages, um, including the the transfer of the assets, transferring the, the Amazon account is always something that uh, Amazon servers are worried about. Uh, we've been doing, even if at the firm, we've been doing that for years, so, uh, so it's not an issue. Also um, for, uh, for yeah. European accounts? Yeah, for European, it's more difficult. It takes more time, but it's definitely doable. Mm -hmm. Okay, look, um, I think um, I have, my question is uh, probably the one that everybody um, has now like how much am I worth right but uh, maybe before we start with that tell us what type of businesses are even sellable I mean like we have listeners that are doing private label uh, we have uh, wholesalers um, or we have probably some other 
right. types of business as well, like online arbitrage, uh, re there's retail arbitrage, right? So um, what kind of business is, uh, is sellable and, uh, and how much uh, can you get for it? First of all, most of the growing businesses are sellable, okay? And I'm saying growing on purpose because you know, sell, businesses that are declining uh, and, you know, they're, they're less sexy, you know, mm -hmm. uh, buyers won't, won't look at them, they'll go and find there are so many businesses for sale, so they'll go for the next one. Uh, but, uh, but generally speaking, I got to say that most of the buyers do prefer a private label uh, account versus a wholesale account. Uh, both are sellable. Uh, the buyers would be different, but uh, I'm talking about our experience and who are the buyers that come to us every week and, you know, are looking for brands. Um, mm -hmm. I guess they're, you know, they want their own IP, they want their own brands rather than selling other people's brands. But most business, I mean, both are sellable. It's just a matter of, uh, of uh, I guess, uh, how, how many buyers there are for each, uh, for each group of uh, of accounts okay suppose um, I have a small private label business um, registered brand no um, problems with IP or patents or whatever uh, so um, and I'm that growing you know of, that you know of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay yeah. okay yeah suppose I had a um, consultation with you and you also acknowledged uh, there are no problems Cause, okay <laughs> obviously if there are some problems that I don't know of but um, you know I don't can't estimate how serious they are right but um, let's say like it's, it's a standard case and we're growing, so we're sexy. Um, how much money um, is such a business worth? Right, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll look at your business, uh, we'll look at the revenue, okay? And then we'll look at your profit. Let's say your revenue is uh, $1 million. Um, it's not a small business as you said, but uh, let's say it's $1 million. And then that your profit are uh, 200K, okay? Uh, which is 20%, which is nice. Usually in private labels, we see a profit of 20 to 30. Uh, how do you calculate the profit? What we do is we take the revenue and we retract all of Amazon's fees. We retract the cost of goods and shipment. And uh, we retract all the advertising costs, PPC, you know, if you have uh, Facebook, uh, advertising yeah. rebate everything we we retract that um, we do not retract the salary of the owners okay so that's not included and Once the salary of, of, all that, of VAs and everything we do retract VAs so we retract um, you know all the expenses that, that are directly uh, related to the business VAs are actually something that the buyer will I mean, VAs will probably want to continue working with VAs. They are great and they, they are great assets to the business, so they, they will probably continue working with them. Uh, so we do include VAs. We include a software like Sellerboard or, you know, Helium 10, whatever. Um, and, then, um, and then we take that profit and you apply a certain multiple. Now, the multiple in that industry can be, you know, two to four uh, really depending on, you know, the kind of business you have. Um, four is really the maximum that you see for, Two to uh, four for large, years. larger. Four, yeah, it's like four years. You, you, there's a multiple on your last. So we take the profit for the last 12 months and then uh, we apply a multiple of four to that uh, tw last 12 months profit. Um, the four is really for larger businesses. The average for growing good business is around three in the industry mm -hmm. um, so going back we have an account selling 1 million uh, the profit is 200k um, so you would probably sell it for uh, 600k plus the inventory uh, to that I mean you would add the inventory to uh, to that amount um, so it can be in a transaction of 700 or something like that mentioned growth um, you said that growing businesses are, are more sexy like how um, how sh how big should this growth be is it like one percent five percent twenty percent one hundred percent how does that impact the price 
Um, so it really depends on uh, your category uh, and what you know what can be expected in your category. Uh, some you know some of our clients are uh, growing a hundred percent. Really depends of uh, of but but what I'm saying growing is at least more than last year. Okay, mm -hmm. that's uh, the, than the previous year. Um, so even twenty percent or thirty percent, that's enough. Uh, it's not. Uh, I'm just saying that if you're selling less than last year, um, then it, sometimes it's fine, and there's an explanation for that. So it doesn't mean you won't be able to sell. Sometimes it's because you didn't have the money for inventory, or you had a problem for a few months, or uh, the coronavirus started, or whatever happened uh, that can be explained. Then that's that's fine. That's absolutely fine. But it's, if it's something that, you know, if you're declining because there are more and more competitors, um, that, that can be a problem. So actually you mentioned Corona. That was uh, what I was going to ask. Um, is 2020, because 2020 is the, the Corona year, um, at least. Look, look, I hope it's the last one. But um, yeah, is it a good time to sell now? Or does it even matter, you know, the, the, the whole Corona stuff and everything? If it's a good time to sell? Mm -hmm. Actually, it's uh, for us, I can only speak for, you know, from our experience at Fortune, you know, many more sellers and less buyers. What happened is the exact opposite. Um, so there are more and more buyers during the last month. There has been so many new buyers. Um, you know, many of them just saw what was happening, I guess, online and the fact that that's where, you know, people should be. So, um, we, we are seeing, uh, new large, uh, retailers starting to look at online businesses. So, uh, for us, at least they're fortunate. It's, I mean, we've been doing so many deals since the, the COVID started that, uh, we're, we, we were actually very surprised. Um, of course, some of the businesses were declining for a couple of months, but that didn't stop the, the, the deals at all. I mean, uh, buyers understand that it's something that uh, can stop. And you can also, you can always structure a deal that would deal with the corona. For example, uh, you can say that uh, the, the multiple will apply to the, um, you know, to the profit for the last 12 months. Uh, when when you're looking at September, for example, so you can do a deal based on September, you know, many months after the Corona, mm -hmm. or you can just retract the Corona and ignore that period. Um, some sellers have been selling ten times more than the usual uh, times, you know, the usual period. So for them, it's been you know, on the uh, it's been the opposite. They've been doing. Uh, even better, um, and uh, the corona was actually very positive for them. Um, you know, the, all the toys categories were booming uh, during the corona. For them, it's like Christmas. So um, tell me, when do you get your money? Like, is it our straight money or your like money? A, uh, I mean, if <laughs> suppose the seller, seller sells yeah. the business, is it straight away or is it like next twelve months? Yeah. You get, yeah, so what happens is that, um, so there's, uh, you start a transaction, most of the transaction work, work that way. You sign, you usually sign an LOI, which is like a letter of intent to start the, the process. Then you sign uh, the agreement, okay? When you sign the agreement, the money is transferred to an escrow company uh, so that, you know, it will stay there and it's secured and you know that the, the seller has paid. Um, and then you start transferring the assets to the buyer. So you transfer your account and you transfer your trademark and we transfer, um, you know, all, all the assets, your domain name, everything we need to transfer. Um, usually there's a, sometimes there's a small period of like one week or two weeks where the buyer wants to see that everything is going well. And then uh, at that period uh, you receive your money. So that would be, I guess, um, you know, if you started the process, finding a buyer can be two weeks or a month. Uh, it depends on the business. Um, and then there's the legal part, which can be a month or, you know, and including the due diligence th during that part. And then the migration and everything up to a month. So I guess three months um, is, uh, is, a good, uh, is a good time. Okay, cool. But it's normally like uh, directly after the transaction. It's not like... 
you get your, your there's a so, vesting period of one year or two years or something like this. No, so most of the deals we see lately have uh, a cash uh, component. For example, eighty percent would be cash, and then some component that is not cash. For example, uh, it would be a part that is paid over a year or paid in one year. Uh, sometimes it it depends of uh, the performance. So sometimes there is a, they call it stability payment. For example, some some buyers say we will pay you uh, we will pay you fifty percent of anything that's above the profit that you had. So if I'm growing, you will get a percentage for that. Mm -hmm. um, so that that they call it stability payment. It's you know to make sure that it's not declining after uh, after you sell the business. So if you believe in your business. Then, the, then usually you, you would be fine. The only problem is that, you know, you let the buyer uh, drive in your car. You know, the, the buyer would uh, would have to manage the account, so you have to trust the buyer. So it really depends of the, you know, of the specific buyer and uh, how experienced they are. Um, but most of the deals we see for larger accounts have some kind of component that is not cash. Mm -hmm. Okay, very cool. So tell us, like, if somebody wants to sell, um, I assume they should, uh, you know, contact you, and we'll leave the link in the description. Um, what, what kind of, uh, what part do they get for free from you? Right. So um, starting at a certain point, they will have to pay money. But uh, like, if they're not even sure that the business is good or sellable, like, yeah. It... So, so the consultation. So, I mean, we work on a success-based fee. So, you know, you pay when when you get a transaction. Actually, when you get your money. So uh, that's on our part. But uh, even before we start the process, usually there's an initial discussion where you know we look at the numbers, we look at your business. And we decide together if that's the right, you know, the right time to start or not. Um, that part is, you know, is is part of the the process, and and we we are here for the you know the long term. Uh, we sometimes we start. There are clients that we started two years ago, and we felt it wasn't the right time, and then a year later they came back, and we and we sold the business. So uh, we're mm -hmm. you know we're we're trying to look at the the larger picture. Okay, got it. Look, um, thanks so much for this. Um, this was also very interesting and uh, congrats. Uh, I'm, um, I'm really your fan because you have two companies and they're uh, in different uh, sectors and, um, and both seem to perform well. So uh, thumbs up on that. Thank you, thanks so much. So we'll leave all the links uh, in the description and if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment and uh, like this video and subscribe to this channel and um, check out uh, Yale's homepage and um, basically both homepage. Thanks so much. Thanks very much. See you. Bye-bye. Good luck. Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our channel. We're making those videos regularly. And uh, let us know what you think in the comments. See you. Bye-bye.